Welcome back to another episode of Cooking with Raw Q. Today we're going to do something I'm very excited about. I'm not sure if you've ever seen this before, but if you have, I'm putting my own twist on it. Today we're going to do barbecue, smoked cheddar, and jalapeno cornbread. All right, before we begin, um, I have a couple of shout outs. One to my pops, Jesse Jones in Jackson, Mississippi. I love you, mom and dad. I want to thank him very much. He bought this shirt for me at Harley Davidson of Jackson, Mississippi. If you're watching, thank you very much and I love you. Also, I wanna give a shout out to everybody, 3rd Battalion, my company, we rock. All right, let's get into it. You're only gonna need seven ingredients to make this cornbread and I'm gonna read these out to you. I'll put the recipe in the uh, description below. You need one cup of self-rising cornmeal, one egg, a half a cup of milk, one can of cream corn, one cup of shredded cheese. Today I'm using Kobe Jack, but you can use any kind of cheese you like. Uh, some people like to use pepper jack, give it a little bit more of a spice. And the reason why I didn't use pepper jack is because I'm using one fourth cup of chopped jalapenos. And lastly, one of the most important things, I'm using one eighth cup, and this is what's gonna bring the barbecue to it, one eighth cup of my rub, the raw rub here, is gonna give it a nice, smoky, balanced, sweet flavor. All right, like I said, very simple. Two top tips before we begin. One, I'm gonna be doing mine in a cast iron skillet just because I like the way it browns the cornbread. But what you wanna do beforehand, go ahead and get your skillet warmed up with about two tablespoons of butter and make sure you coat all sides. Second top tip is this. Make sure you have some type of good gloves to have. You're gonna be taking that skillet on and off of your uh, smoker and it's gonna be hot. Of course, I choose some Harley Davidson welding gloves. And outside, we got the big green egg already puffing away. You want your grill set about 400 degrees. Go ahead, get it warm, get it ready to go. So when you take everything out, it's ready to go. It's only gonna take about 25, 35 minutes and we're gonna have some awesome cornbread. Let's start mixing it up. All right, not hard at all. Everything just needs to go in and get mixed together. So I like to just start from here and just take everything and incorporate it. On the inside. All right, next is the corn. We're not wasting any ingredients. Next is the cheese. Next, we're going with the jalapenos. For the spice. Lastly, well not lastly, but we're gonna put the milk in. And then lastly, but most important, that royal rub. And we just mix everything in. Now this is where you wanna take your time. Make sure that you get everything nice and mixed. There's no lumps and clumps. Make sure that cornmeal is Incorporate it, all your dry ingredients get mixed in well with your wet ingredients. All right, I can tell you right now, it already smells amazing. All right, so now what we wanna do, we're gonna take this, we're gonna transfer it over to the um, cast iron skillet and then get ready to go outside. I'll see you outside. All right, we're outside at the egg and we're sitting at 405. Um, you see a lot of coming, uh, a lot of uh, smoke puffing, but we're not using wood. It's just a hard uh, lump charcoal that I have. So make sure that you give the egg a good burp. And all we want to simply do now is take it, sit it directly in the center and shut it down. All right, you wanna set your timer. It's gonna take about 25, 35 minutes, depending on how hot you're running. Just come out here about every 15 minutes and check on it. We'll see you when the cornbread is done. All right, guys, we're back out here to grill. It's been exactly 25 minutes. I checked it around the 15 minute mark, stuck a little butter knife in it to see. It didn't come out clean, but right here at 25 minutes, we should be good. Let's get a good view of this. Make sure you get a good burp on your egg first. Oh, man. That looks delicious. Like I said, I've already probed it, but I'll just do it one more time. 
And when you can stick it in like this and it comes out clean, you know it's ready to go. All right, I'll see you guys in the inside. We're gonna let it rest for a little while, then we're gonna slice it up. See you in the inside. All right, and we're back. Everything is done. We got the bread off the grill. It's rested for about 10 or 15 minutes. Let's cut into it and see what we got. Oh, I can definitely smell the cheese. Oh, yeah, that's a nice piece. All right. Uh, before, I, before I taste it, let me just tell you what I get from the smell. I definitely smell the jalapeno, the cheese, and the corn. Um, and the rub. Let's give it a taste. Oh, look at the crust on the bottom. That's what I was talking about that come from that cast iron skillet. Piece that big. Definitely want to get some of that crust. Hmm. <laughs> that is some really good cornbread. Um, oh, let me get another piece of that. Actually, I'm going to go in again. Hold on. I can tell you right now, I'm good for a whole pan of that. <laughs> I mean, it's really good. You definitely pick up the barbecue notes. The, um, you can taste the wood from the grill, the corn, and the cheese gives it a very good flavor. It's almost like a, a pudding, almost like a, um, what am I trying to say, dressing, but it's in a cornbread flavor. Now, it's not gonna be, as you can see, it's not gonna be as hard as cornbread because of the cheese, so it's very softened in the inside, but I'm telling you right now, this will go as a good side for any uh, dish, as you'll see in the next couple of videos, because I will be pairing some of this uh, with something else in the next video. All right, that's all we have for today's episode. Please get out, grill, spend some time with the family. Like I said, barbecue for me is therapy. I don't know what it is for you. It may just be a time that you can get out and spend time with your family or just get outside or do something different than cooking in the inside. Your grill is very versatile. You can use it for a lot of different things that we showed you today. Instead of just smoking meats, we actually bake some bread. Be looking for some next uh, videos to come up. We're going to, I'm talking, uh, thinking about doing some dessert videos as well, just to show the versatility. And also remember, got a big surprise coming up for the channel that's going to bring a whole bunch of diversity as far as different cooks and different ways that we cook. So stay tuned, click subscribe, hit the bell so you know when I come out with a video. Videos are coming out rapidly. Thank you. We hit 100 subscribers last night. So like I promised, we're going to be doing a giveaway. I got Royal Q shirts coming, uh, coming really soon. So the moment we get the shirts in, I'm gonna do a random pick. So comment in the videos, comment, comment, comment in the videos. I'm gonna pick someone out of, the, out of the comments and I'm gonna send them a free shirt and also a sample of rub. Thank you for watching. And um, I'm gonna give you another piece of this. Go out there, try this uh, recipe. And uh, if you do, go down in the comments and let me know what you think.